Then I go back and make it more cute. <laughs> Alrighty, hey guys. So, okay, there's a lot going on. I have quite an amount of things to do that are pretty like basic. It's just plant chores, cleaning, and I re I'm gonna make food tonight. I don't know exactly what, but I will be kind of fun to take you guys along. Cause some of you guys asked for that to do like cooking, kind of like cooking videos or like putting them into like plant chores kind of videos. So right now, I'm gonna remove this pan. <laughs> I was making tacos in the morning, but I got my fertilizer. It's just Mercury Girl fertilizer. I this is a, yes, it is a Prego container. I like to reuse these. Um. For salsas and for like they're just they're awesome the foil fell off on the sofa that i put on to like prevent one thing from scratching it but i get this amount and i put it in there i'll show you in a bit i put two and then i'm using this dollar tree you can also get them in family dollar for 125 they're planters but they don't come like with holes you gotta go they're already like pre lined you just gotta go ahead and like do it yourself I do like to use these as like basic planters, but I also like to use them as like bottom watering containers because a Costa Farm hangy basket fits perfectly. The vast majority of hangy baskets fit really, really good in here. And then I also like to like, which is now because I have a lot of kind of big plants to water or like I have a lot of plants to water outside. Instead of me carrying with my green little can, which is awesome to reach into like tough places, right? Um, it's kind of pain in the butt to water the balcony plants with that small little reservoir of water. So filling this up with fertilizer and water and going outside and just dumping it like that is so much easier, so much more convenient to do. Uh, I don't even like stir it. I just like spin the planter and the powder just dissolves. Like it's awesome. Now, I know people don't like using microgrow fertilizer because like it's not the best or there's, it's not organic or natural, which is so true. But I get it because I have a lot of it. This was like half a bag and it lasted me for like months already and I have three more bags in the box that I paid like 10 bucks for and it does work. It's a liquid kind of fertilizer, like it dissolves in water so it's a liquid fertilizer and that reaches to the plant a lot faster. Slow release fertilizers and like quick fertilizers like this one, they both have the pros and cons but I use this because it's cheap, it makes my plants grow and it's simple and they don't stink. <laughs> Even though I know good fertilizers are just, are supposed to smell, good organic fertilizers have a, a smell. That's how you know it's good fertilizer. I don't. So let me, let's go ahead. I don't know what I'm going to water this specifically, but something in the balcony, but the jets are on oh, no, its maintenance. Okay. It's going to be kind of hard just to carry it like this, but I got it. And that's the foil that I was talking about. I got to put it back in there so that I don't scratch the furniture. Ah, I need something to hold it. My thumbs. No, it'll be easier if I get my tripod, but... Also, I'm gonna give you guys plenty of updates on what's going on to the apartment. A lot of honestly exciting things. Even my chameleon ZZ. I thought I was just putting out a couple leaves, but it's actually putting out multiple, which is really, really exciting. Here's Mr. Valentino. That's right. Ugh. It's full of water. You can kind of see that I already watered a few plants. Um, well, I think I was gonna use this as a bottom watering, so... Uh, let me just put it down and this one can tolerate direct sunlight so i can put it <sighs> sorry i'm like moving all around a lot and this one's heavy too girl what the hell oh shoot can i put it without breaking branches i think i broke a few but it's okay and then uh, right there it's a beautiful day and maintenance is doing such an amazing job at maintaining the property they're always like honestly with the maintenance team is like perfect they're awesome so we're gonna go ahead and bottom water my lipstick plants which by the way we've done propagations from this one we did two and i already gave one to my mom and the other one that i have i have it and it's getting pretty long i kind of want to chop it you can see all it you see where i chopped it multiple growth points come out so it gets nice and bushy I'm probably gonna go ahead and chop mine and make it get more bushy, but I don't know. And I just place it here to bottom water and I'm gonna leave it for 24 hours or yeah, basically overnight.
I guess I'll give you guys some updates. Hopefully it's not too loud. So the string of hearts does get direct sunlight as you can see. And this is propagated by nose, which we actually do have some propagations ready to get potted up. I'm really running out out of soil and planters. So I think I already found a way to go ahead and do it, but look at that. This is from propagations and the mother plant is right over here. Look how windy it is in the sky. It looks like a Disney like. Oh my god, it's a beautiful day. So here is the propagate the mother plant, my bad. You can kind of see where I chopped it. She pushes out more. Um, but yeah, super duper fun. And the baby's already hatched, by the way. They're in that little plant. This is fine. This is super lightweight. It's fine, y'all. <laughs> they're, um, they're already hatched. I don't want to get in there and like scare them or something like that. So, but yeah, whenever she comes by, there's like, and there was five eggs. We hear like a bunch of like high pitched sounds. And then there's a new nest and this one. There was an abandoned nest, they left. But then, oh, look at that. Do y'all see that? That is so cool. So basically, they probably got some branches and they placed it in there. I guess it propagated or it had seeds and they came out. But this is my most little sister Picana and she's doing pretty good. I have propagations of her. By the way, look at that, she's gorgeous. Look at all of these vines coming out. Even where I chopped it. But there is another nest and I don't know how many eggs there is. It's a lot harder to bring down because it's, it's string. The other one was like plastic wire, so it was a lot easier. But and I'm not even gonna bother. So it's probably gonna be like two months until they leave. So I do have some cuttings just in case this one goes downhill. My most status of a Hopefully not, but I'm prepared. So but yeah, it's it's a blessing and it's pretty cool. My Tritoscantii, Facebook was crazy over this Tritoscantii. It's um, Picastillo White, I believe. There's a little bit of berry poop because they sit over here every now and then. This massive hanging basket, which I'm bottom watering right now, but it's almost done. I hang it in that hook. And the hooks that I use are basic hooks from Walmart. It's nothing that crazy, nothing that fancy. So that's where I hang my plant and I just hope that nothing falls. So out of like 50 plants that I hang, one or two will fall. Pretty good odds. And there's other methods, by the way, to hang your plants. I, So yeah, but that's how I do it. And then this variegated ginger, y'all. I'm gonna pot it up in this planter pretty soon, but I'm using it as a um, cash pot. But look at those leaves. Beautiful. Some alocasias. I just put this one on full sun. It should be fine. This one is from the bulb. I don't know if you guys remember the bulb. Well, it was just one massive bulb, and now there's multiple sprouts that were in the bulb. So. It looks like there's multiple plants, which is pretty cool. Look at this leaf. Ugh, and it's already putting out another one. Like, it, these, this literally came out within a week. I'm like literally shocked. And I'm pretty sure now that it has leaves, it's just gonna grow even faster and faster. So I'm really, really hyped about that. And it's gonna bring really, really nice shade to the balcony. So I kinda wanna place it on top of the table and let these big leaves like shade a little bit and also give a little bit more privacy. But, obsessed with that and then this is the potato vine it is starting to get longer i am fertilizing it and i will chop it pretty soon because i want to have more of the grain these are awesome they grow really really fast and they tolerate the heat of texas and the humidity like they go like wildfire and they grow a lot faster when they get full on sun as you can see so yeah and i want to have these as like the barrier because like in the summer it gets intense and I'm trying to like plan ahead a little bit. Also the Mastera Aurora, I was kind of forcing the leaf out and you can kind of see how I forced it out, but it is starting to push it out. This was a cutting that we did and it does get direct sunlight. I'm pretty sure it hardened off because it gets full on sun, like eight hours of sun and it's fine. Like it doesn't get burnt. So it is, oh look, she's here. I don't know if she left or not. I'm so excited letting this girl bottom water. Here are the numbers right now. The bottom is humidity, so it's pretty dry. Here are the propagations that we did. And the avocation put out a new leaf and she did not kill this one. So I think this 
excuse me, this allocation jacket is going to be a lot happier outside of the balcony. So I'm really, really excited about that. This is some vines. I just threw it in there because I don't want to throw it away. So if something clicks, then I'll let it click. If not, I'll just toss it away. <laughs> they have so many propagations going on that I don't really mind right now. Got to do a little bit of cleaning. But this is a container that I have on my Mostera Sosa Picano. And these do get direct sunlight. But I have noticed that the new leaves are hardened off than the old ones. And I'm kind of happy about that. Because these are going to be outside plants. But look at this Mostera Sosa Picano that we did by cuttings. Like... It's gonna get so nice. Global green, global green, or lemon meringue. My bad. I don't even know. They're honestly both look the same. This is the manjulas. I do have two massive containers of manjulas. So some of them didn't make it. And this is the ones that had mealybugs where they were writing as cuttings. There's only one that I'm seeing. So I'll just fill in the gap with the other ones. Yeah, this ficus gets to, like full on sun and look what it did. It didn't just put out one, but it put out another one so it's already branching out super fun my amaryllis hasn't bloomed yet but it's still doing putting out leaves so i'm just waiting for it to bloom i think she's here She left already. Ah, oh, it's windy. Because that's really, really cool that it's branching out. And um, bird, bird of paradise, just chilling, and she is putting out new leaves. You can kind of see right there. And it's also on something else coming out. Oh, and this is a lipstick pagoda that we propagated. Here she is. We did it by notes, so that's really, really cool and exciting. But I just can't wait for these to like get big and just like. I don't think that they're gonna get that big because it's in a plant. So if it was in ground, they'd probably get even massive. But yes, here's the Jacena. I did. Oh, I see some bellies. Good thing I'm outside. I'm gonna go ahead and spray that. You keep a close eye. I'm probably gonna have to bring it down. But this is the Jacena. She is putting out new leaves, even though she's infested. And she is just chilling. And then, I mean, there's a lot, like, basic stuff, y'all. But, like, this is a uh, Manjula. Here's a little update with the shoots. I put out a leaf a while back. And I was so amazed every single time I look at a mandula. I think it was this one. It's just oh, it's this one. Yeah, she is big. So impressive. And look how full. <gasps> oh my god, look at this. This is so sad. I don't know how that even happened. There's no roots. I mean, there's some nodes. I'm probably gonna shove it in. Oh, I think I remember what it was. So this was an extra cutting. I'm surprised the leaves are not bad. You know what? I'm gonna place it in this little spot. Let me make a little hole really fast. I would love to move these plants, you guys, in more shade, but I don't have that much space and the balcony and they're doing A-OK -okay where they're at so I'll give you guys an update on that this one that I trust I'm gonna get a ticket out uh here's a stuckhorn fern it is putting out new leaves this is a new I'm on 30 now it's the newest leaf the neon potos getting nice and big that skindopsis needs to get bottom watered I can tell by the leaves like starting to curl the Monstera Peru is just chilling. Yeah, this was by cuttings. Look how big. And it's the ones that are getting bigger. It's the ones that are not that variegated. The variegated ones are taking a little long time. But look how big it is. Like, 
I'm very surprised. I noticed that when these are not getting enough light, they they do get leggy like any other plants, but it doesn't look that leggy and nasty. So, very, very surprised. And then, oh, the very top, we have this neon one, which is starting to grow like crazy outside. I don't know if you remember, she was so strangly, but look at all this. And then here is Amangela, her new leaf. Congrats. And again, the monster of Peru. The Cebu Blue. Lemon Lime, Philodendron. Kind of excited how it's getting nice and bushy, especially on top. Look at the Cupid, Lemon Meringue, beautiful, <laughs> look at that. And then here is a silver, silver hero skin depth, which was only one vine, but since I chopped it, it healed, so it has this one. But then it has two more shoots pulling through. So there, there, and this one might happen too. Really, really pretty synapses. But that's the vast majority of the stuff that's happened in the balcony. Like I said, we do gotta water some plants. And now from what I saw, the Jocena needs to go ahead and get sprayed. And I'm probably gonna spray with Captain Jack's. Well, I'll spray with rubbing alcohol and then I'll spray with Captain Jack's to like help it. But kind of exciting. So that's the balcony. I'm gonna go inside. A lot of updates inside too. I mean, I don't know where to point. So the summer glory already finished putting it off. Usually they come out this beautiful orange and then they turn to this beautiful green. And this one's already turning nice and green. So that was a beautiful leaf. Uh, I'm gonna get a range of pepperonia. It's still chilling. And there is this little baby that it produced. Congrats, mama. Beautiful. And then my Hamalinea oh <laughs> Selby is still alive. And I kind of want to pull it out and show you, but I just think it's fine where it's at. And look at these new leaves. This one and this one. This was last, I mean, two weeks ago. Beautiful. Uh, Charlie Stromanti doing really good always putting out new leaves or straws whatever you want to call it and then this ficus is putting out this massive new leaf which is really really exciting ficus uh shibarana is also this is its recent new leaf this is it's pushing out another one i need to fertilize it because i noticed that when i don't fertilize my ficuses they produce small smaller leaves and they become um just small and they take forever <laughs> So he's a so this is a raven. This was its recent new leaf. It's already turning a beautiful, nice black color. This is my basic ZZ, which is just beautiful and green. Nothing yet from what I see. But then this is the chameleon. And this one has multiple sprouts, as you can see, coming through. Look at that one. So all I do is just give them a good amount of um, light and I do the basic care for pest and also I fertilize them. So this one is probably going to get a, some fertilizer because I want it to have a boost even though ZZ's don't like a lot of water. I haven't watered this one for a hot minute so I think it will be fine to give it a, some liquid fertilizer. And then the mother plant of the Mostara Aurora is right over here. She just put out this new leaf, and here's a little update on it. I'm really hoping it's going to be variegated, but time would tell. 
And in the fiddle, I saw this video that you pinch the new growth. I don't know if I did it too soon or like not right. And it's supposed to branch out, so it's already bouncing back. You can see a new leaf. It kind of looks like spider mites, right? Y'all saw that? But no, it's just dust. Dusty plant. There's another one. I pinched every single growth point. Oh, this one has two. Y'all see that? I just took off that, and you can see how better. You can see the pointy. Actually, it has three. Oh, that's nice. This one only has one, but we will see about that. And then, let's see the most Aurora. She's beautiful. I think that's it. But we're gonna see. It's a nice fiddle, anyways. Um, this piece of nice water. You have to water that for sure. We're gonna water some plants. I'm just giving you guys some plenty updates. I did move the orchid and the tri tri trio star stromanti. My apologies in here because there is some light that scatters down, and I'm probably gonna have to swap these. It makes more sense for this one to get a little bit higher and this one more down because that can handle a little bit low light. Orchids want more light, but I place it here because like it's just such a perfect spot, like you know. <laughs> and then this one. I, it got a little out of all the plants in the balcony only this one got damaged um i already cut off majority of the damage you can still kind of see a little bit of cold damage but it has grown a lot and it's starting to fill in pretty nicely this is a silver stripe pothos and it's beautiful i honestly do love this plant a lot i would see myself chopping it maybe like in two months to promote more growth on top and have some extra cuttings because I only have one and I don't feel like buying another one when I know that portals are pretty easy to propagate. Never propagated this one specifically, but portals are usually pretty easy. So yeah, and then here's my calatheas. I will have to check them individually in this video as well and I'll give you guys some close-ups. But I love my calatheas. I just gotta keep a really, really close eye. As well, because this one, I know this is my mojito. <laughs> what do I know? Or my variegated Chinese money plant. You can kind of see a little bit of variegation right there. And I'm very surprised how it has lived. Um, I did chop it, and what it did is getting more bushy. So I'm probably gonna have to chop these as well. And I will have more of them. I do wanna place one outside, and then the mother will get more bushy. When, when. So, love her. And then this is my burger ring of fire. I was being told a lot that it was like a better choice to upgrade it to a bigger planter than what it was in, but I think it's pretty good. And then, oh, what is that? So it had a new leaf coming in. I'm just gonna put it right there. I'm gonna put it in my little trash station. But look what's happening. It's putting out, it's like, um, I don't think it's a node. It looks like a leaf. This is a leaf. And I kind of broke it. And I'm still forcing it. It's just I'm scared, but it looks fine. And actually, it looks like it's happy where it's at because it looks a lot more firm. Here's the polka dot begonia. This was one of its newest leaves from last week. And I honestly love how I placed it over here because it's going to get higher and higher. It's going to try to follow the grow light. And it has a lot of new leaves coming through. I like it's a little new one. <laughs> I love, 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 love polka dot begonias, and I really want it to get big. I feel like I see myself buying some bamboo sticks for this one, because I do feel like this can get, like, I think they can get up to three feet tall. And, but they do need support, because if not, they would just, like, trample over. So, here's the different bucking camouflage. She was scaring me. I don't know how or what happened, but it was rotting at the tips, and then... I just kept doing what I, what I do. So the new leaves are still being pushed out, but as you can see, where it was rotting is like that. It already stopped, but it's trying to unfurl. I kind of want to chop it. Let me see if I can help it. Um, plants are pretty strong. Oh, there it is. I already took it out. So it should open now. This is all green and fresh, see, like that. This one might need a little bit of help as well. But. Yeah, I've never had my different bakias doing this. I mean, I've never actually was able to keep a different bakia alive. So I'm pretty surprised that this has lasted with me. But yeah, that was pretty weird. 
Here's my Lambda John Cena's. I'm literally so proud of this. We saw a little arrangement that we did like last year, I think two years ago. I think it was last year. Snake plants are still over here chilling with us. And then we have these lamb lights, which I love how they have grown like that. And they're kind of like going against the pot. This one is just going straight up. And it's beautiful. These are just so pretty. Aglonemas, but that's the table. That's this section. Let me go ahead and throw this away. I have noticed I've been rambling a lot. It's just there's been so much happening in the apartment, like in the balcony and in the living room where I have plants, but also in the plant room where there's plenty shelves. Just so much. And of course, I just want to share with y'all and document all of it. <laughs> like I said, there's more in the plant room, but we're going to water the plant room. I kind of wanted to move but I, the plant room, but it's going to be later on, not right now. But we're going to go ahead and water that room. I don't want to keep saying that. And I'll show you guys some updates as we water. But I'm going to finish this section. Uh, I want to give you some, give you guys some updates on this. And then we're going to get into the watering. Oh, I forgot. Also, we're going to repot some plants and some propagations that I have that are really past due. Like I said, I didn't have any plants here, but I was scattering around and seeing what I can move around. And I, I found a way because some of these cuttings are getting really rooted and then they're in sphagnum moss which makes it like a little bit painful to transfer to soil as in they stick and you gotta like be kind of careful if not you'll break a root which is so sad so this will go pretty fast there's not that much going on i mean everything it is being active there's some new leaves and this aglonema silver bay which also has water platinum miss peacefully she was exploding last year <sighs> I'm not quite sure. She used to bloom a lot. I mean, I know they're not supposed to bloom all the time. So I I, I think she's fine. What is this over here? It's an old leaf, I don't really care. It's a monstera skeleto leaf. These guys just go everywhere. You guys are gonna see in a bit. But yeah, this is a silver, oh no, platinum mist peace lily. So as long as it's happy, it is getting some good light. I think it should be fine. I'm just being like, I don't know why my peace lily is like, I, they need water every single like four days it seems like it because they're always drying out here's my domino piece of oh look at that talking about flowers thank you i stare at these plants you guys all the time and i'm always here this must be like a couple days new because i i missed it and i was even moving this plant around and i, I can't believe i missed that i always cut the flowers but when i see the flowers i know they're kind of happy <laughs> even though we know some plants like snake plants oh no i think potos snake plants yeah when they bloom it's because they're under stressed but wow i'm gonna chop it but thank you like i don't know I, it's spring i need to see these girls blooming like that was freaking out i was like why is there no flowers but there's a flower domino peacefully she's awesome and i kind of want to upgrade her to that planter maybe down the line um but she's fine where she's at and really really beautiful here is this one the ficus elastica ruby i'm oh, just putting out lots of new leaves and it looks like blocks of like paint. It's beautiful. Ew. Oh, this was a leaf that was broken when I got it. I don't even know if I can take it. Do y'all see that? It's like green and then it's brown over here. It's really in there like... No, oh, damn. Oh, I could have showed you. I'm sorry. Look at that. Even that looks so, it looks pretty cool when it's brown. So this is a Mosera Skeleto, from what I noticed, from what I know. It has two plants in this, and this was its newest leaf from last week. It already fully hardened off and it expanded as it should. I should be expecting a new leaf coming out within a couple days. And then this, it's recent. It just unfurled today. So, I do expect it to get a little bit bigger than this one. That's how it's supposed to be. Um, I do got to give this girly a moss pole. I want something to, for it to climb on because these could get pretty big. Supposedly, when they're really, really happy and they're climbing on something, they can get up to three feet long. That is wild. Like, this is a feat, I'm pretty sure. So imagine this, like, like that. Girl, <laughs> that is so cool. Um... I don't know though. I kind of want to split it 
and have one because i don't know about having two I, I gotta figure it out but maybe i can put one long moss pole or a, a plank and have one side on this plant the other side on this plant so they can go like that that's maybe a smart idea we'll figure it out this is my mother queen potos she is an icon um especially on facebook but i mean look at this leaf it's just wild she's always thirsty <laughs> She's been at this planter for like super long, the coastal farm ones, so I know that it's time to repot her. Look at this new leaf! Like, look at these leaves. I always say, and I will keep on saying it because it seems like a lot of people still like didn't know this, but snow queens and mother queens are the same. I hear the babies, like, so cute. But they're the same, it just depends how much light you're giving it. So if I want to, this looks more like a snow queen. Honestly, this one looks more like a snow queen than anything. I'll just chop this leaf with a node and I'll propagate it and always continuously give it a lot of light. Grow light or natural light, just a lot of bright light. Not direct because you don't want it to get burnt unless it's hardened off. That's a whole different conversation. And fertilizer, of course. And it will just continue to put out white leaves. And I always call it a snow queen, but they're basically the same. Yo, look at that leaf. Marvel queens are cute. I have, I had a big fifth. I had like, y'all, I had, I think about four Marvel queen photos. And I have another one, which is in the plant room. And I will show you that one. But um, I just had an addiction and now it's Manjula's. <laughs> I'm having a Manjula face. It's like a, like a Marvel Queen, but like times three. Because they're wider and they're splashy. But this one is just so iconic and unique and just beautiful. And I love it when it's like this. Like This is perfect for me. I mean, this is really, really impressive. Also, this is stunning. But for me, like something like this is just gorge. Like beautiful, like an iconic look for a Marvel Queen photos for me. But let me show you the other one that I have. And the one that I have, this is a plant room, by the way. You got some stuff going on. This is done by propagations by Node. And out of all the plants that I propagated, this one, girl, took so, so long. I think this is four months. Okay? But now I have a beautiful, large, wet somebody box. Oh, my. And that looks like a nest. No, I think it's dead. It's, like, half dead. You all see it's, like, half smooshed? I do, because she, she did have some um melis and what i did i just spray a lot of rubbing alcohol diluted i use it a lot you guys because like i'm not gonna lie i kind of like this one a little bit but <laughs> it also like hey baby it also kills my bugs on contact look at this new leaf it's just crazy that it was done by nodes and look at that leaf coming through and they look really really white it seems like i mean obviously they're in grow lights so it's just gonna put out a lot of white so this might be coming to a uh, a snow queen if i give it a lot of light look at all those new growth points hey baby my toes are exposed i'm sorry how you doing yeah scratchies 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 mr valentino loves y'all Ooh, you want to smell sometimes like i don't know what he wants i know he likes this a lot like scratches on the on his cheeks and then sometimes, I know he doesn't like, he gets mad over here. But I know he likes this too. Baby, stop moving. I can't move the phone too much. He likes to smell himself sometimes. He's so weird. So, <laughs> I'm trying, but you're moving. Like, how can I? Anyways, he's happy. Well, he'll let me know. Ooh. Yeah. Scratches, baby. Sorry, I'm like trying to like pet him the way he likes to be pet while he's showing up because i know you love him also some of you guys um have like the same you have cats that look like valentino like <laughs> it's just pretty like weird but like really really cool and there was one that i remember that this girl showed me a picture there was a messenger or on instagram i hardly got on instagram by the way but and it was a while back and she sent me a picture of her cat it looked almost the same as valentino but I think his or hers. The kitties' his eyes were darker and they were so beautiful. They were like yellow, like goldish. Beautiful. And Valentino has like greenish kind of eyes. But her cat was just beautiful. 
See? Oh my god, like, began of a cat eye is now laying down. The amount of fungus nuts that's in here. Oh, my merch. Y'all saw it was all about to bite me, like. The mirror's dirty. Also, yes, I gained weight, y'all. Here's the propagations, by the way. We're gonna, I'm gonna give you guys some updates on those propagations. And those are the plants we're gonna go ahead and pot up. But I wanna show you the more we those because, like, it's just really, really cool that I was able to propagate some. Gotta, ooh, gotta spray that. He likes to wanna do it kinda hard. <laughs> I'm craving. I'm gonna have to make a little snacky or something to eat for me later on. But I'm craving sardines, y'all. I want to show you guys this plant. This is a purple passion plant. Ignore the saucer. It's so dirty, but it's used. I actually got only two saucers left. I need to get more before they stop selling them. Selling them, I've, I've been, I get them at Family Dollar every single year, but this year I found that they also sell it at Family Dollar. And you can see a lot of fungus that's passing by. I need to get some because like, I don't want to buy the expensive ones, even though they're better and hardier. I know that as long as I don't move these plants, these saucers a lot, they are awesome. And for the price, it's awesome. So I need to get more. Also, these beautiful planters, they're hanging planters, but you can also use these, and I, I do use these as cash pots. They do have holes that are ready that you can do them yourself or just leave it and use it as a bottom watering, like, method like a cash pot for your hanging plants you don't you don't gotta bring your plants down that's where i have my pearls and jade where the birdies are at the ones that hatched and my other one my monstera saltificana um they're on that so i don't gotta bring those plants down i just water it and it stays there and actually they stay moist longer because there's a little bit of water in there left so now i gotta make sure i don't put too much water to like add too much weight and let them crash but yeah so I highly recommend to go to your Dollar Tree and Family Dollar. Don't underestimate these. I did a post a while back. And some people were telling me, like, those suck. You should stop recommending those. I highly, like, hate them. Like, I had them for my garden and they just broke down. But they were talking about them using these as outdoor planters. Which I actually have used before. And yes, the sun does kind of degrade it. It's just how the sun works, right? Um, and you get what you pay for. But... As houseplant containers, if you don't mind the aesthetic, you can also just DIY them yourself too. They're awesome. They're like $1.25. Like, you cannot beat that price. But my plants don't mind too. So this is my purple passion plant. And, okay. Let me show you actually. Baby, hold on. I spread this plant a thousand times. And I don't know if it's spider mites or it's not mellybugs. Baby, I'm trying to show them something. I don't know if you guys can see that. Especially that little white one in there. Really, Valentino? I don't know. Ew, and it's moving. Is that an aphid? I just got this plant. So, and I see all this too. I'm going to go ahead and rinse it on the top. Like, that is so nasty. And I only have a little bit of rum alcohol left. I'm going to spray my potos and joy. Because every now and then what I do see on so many plants... It's not really muddy bug, it's more like, I think they're their suck or their eggs. But when you see that, you just gotta go ahead and spray with your ferret method. I just do rubbing alcohol and look at that. It's already black. Now I'm gonna go ahead and dab it just to make sure that it's dead. Look at that, <laughs> that's so gross. But you gotta do what you gotta do. I honestly think that this method, there's a lot of other methods out there, but I think as long as I'm on top of it, it would work out. Now that on my purple passion plant was disgusting. I don't know what that was. Um, I could be aphids. I just got this plant from Home Depot and I have it with all of my other plants. So now I gotta keep a close eye on everything else. <sighs> but that was so nasty. That was literally so nasty. I do have Captain Jack's. I think Captain Jack's is really, really good for that. The thing is I have sprayed Captain Jack's with it multiple times. I drenched it. And then I even spread rubbing alcohol every now and then. And it's been like two days since I haven't done anything. And I kept seeing those speckles on it. I don't, I don't know if they're eggs or dead babies. I don't know what it is. And But since we zoomed in, you kind of saw the little crawler. So what I did, I just rinsed off the entire plant for like a good, but when I rinse it, I don't like do it on top first because I don't want them to go down. 
what I do, I tilt it as much as I can without spilling the soil. I don't know it's in the bottom, so it's capturing the water. But I go like this, and then I get the hose, the water, the, the shower head, and I go like this, and I spin it and make sure I'm getting each and every single leaf and I'm knocking everything down on the foliage, what I, I think I did successfully. And then I put it down and I get the stronger pressure and I go shh, like crazy on it. And I make sure I'm like also rinsing the tub just in case they go back into the plants. And I did it for a good amount of time now. I know they could be hiding in the soil, but like I said, as long as I'm like on top of this, I think I would like deal it. Now I, you should quarantine it. But I'm not going to. Um, I have a week until I go back to Amazon. So I'm going to be checking this plant multiple times a day. And yeah, I, I, that's so gross. You know what? I'm going to quarantine it. But I don't know how far. I'm going to put it by the window, actually. And that's my other, my Sinanti. It's called Star Beauty, something like that. So I'm going I'm to put this Purple Passion Plant, which is so beautiful. I was in the short sale because I just love, 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 love the foliage. I'm gonna go ahead and place it by the window away from everything else as far as I can keep them away because I have my restroom which I like to use as a quarantine but I already have some plants in there and I don't want to like and they're in there because like they're brand new and they got imported and I need to make sure they don't have anything in them so I don't want anything else in there just those plants um but yeah that's that should be fine as long as I check it Periodically, I also do vacuums, so just in case I want to crawl on the carpet, um, they'll get vacuums. I'll set up the Roomba getting so perennial. That was just so nasty. That made me want to itch. One more update that I want to show you guys before we get to the watering. And honestly, my phone's about to die, so I will go ahead and charge it and eat something. And then when I finish eating, we're going to go ahead and water some plants. I'm kind of excited because I just love watering plants with y'all, but I'm going to take a little sip of water. I used to be so when I was little to never drink like that. To like, hold on. To like, don't like, like that. <laughs> I do it because like, I just want to water now and I'm impatient. I know it's, I'm in the mind. But my dad's not here, so he can't do nothing. That's how you're supposed to drink it. I don't care. Anyways. I keep getting distracted, but look at this. This is my string of hearts that we propagated by the butterfly method by nodes. Look, this is it. <gasps> ah, and I have another one outside, the one that I showed y'all. And I have more. Actually, I was gonna put these in small little plants, which I do not have. Damn it. So I'll make another mother plant. Look, here they are. I'm sure you guys update on that. But I guess I'll do that afterwards. My phone's literally about to die, but there's a lot of stuff going on. And then the something else too, but that. Because I'm still waiting for the company to respond, but it's taking kind of forever. So <clears throat> uh, I won't give too much information about one plant that's under that I'm experimenting with. But I'm going to show you guys this before I head out. Well, for you, it's going to be like the next frame. But before I go and eat, I want to show you guys this. I gotta move it around because my boyfriend's a strawberry begonia is doing amazing and it's putting out lots of babies but it's getting everywhere which i did not mind at all but when you gotta pull out a plant it can be kind of tricky and i gotta check the crevices of those babies because every now and then i'll see uh millibugs um they like crevices and i gotta keep a close eye on almost everything okay not this one by the way this is i'm just checking this one too this is my um Rainbow Tritoscantii, and I love Tritoscantiis. This one had a little problem going, like a little like fungal problem, but I think it's already under control. And she's dry. Yeah, she's dry. And I just finished watering it, but these plants are drying out so fast. And maybe the days are going by so fast. Like, yeah, I think it was like five days ago since I watered it. But I might need to go ahead and propagate this one to make a backup because I don't know if this is gonna be okay. Oh, you guys, I want to show y'all everything. Like, look, this is the the twister plant that we propagated. Uh, we're gonna chop these. Oh, hello. We're gonna chop these and give it a haircut, like flat, basically. There will still be enough leaves to like photosynthesize. And we're gonna put them back in there and let it get more bushy. And then maybe like in a month or two, it will be time to up up place in a bigger planter. Um, but this is a plant that a lot of y'all told me 
was not gonna succeed. Well, a little bit, but. And after having, I think 18 or 15 or 18 cuttings, I only got three to successfully root and put out new leaves. Cause they propagate by nodes. Y'all already know that. Whenever I can. Cause I know with snake plants, you can't really do that or piece of leaves. It has to be by division, but this is my red syngonium and it's already putting out you can see the new leaf right there new leaf and new leaf so there's three plants and this four inch plant which is not bad ew i see so oh it's a fungus knot ew they're so ugly i guess someone really really is that really a fungus knot that was a really big fungus knot ah my eye ew have you ever heard of that like ew a fungus knot going to your eye imagine I know, I'm using my phone and it's like the things on my Ow! If there's anything on my eye, it would just die, right? If I squish it, I know that's so nasty, but I don't want it crawling into my brains. Like, ew. Whatever. Anyways. Yeah! Resting Goniam has new growth, so I have a backup just in case. I also have the mother plant with me. She's doing pretty good as well. Honestly, she's grown a lot, to be honest, but yeah, that's the. The little update I want to share with y'all. I was just really, really excited to show y'all that because it is really hard to propagate. And I propagated by the sphagnum moss method. Half of them did rooted in sphagnum moss. Maybe I transferred it to soil. I probably did too early that it didn't get enough time to like do its thing. But and the other half didn't propagate it. And I just still showed it in soil to experiment and those rotted. Um, but yeah, Ugh, my eyes. And this is a philodendron. They, I always forget what it's called. I, know, I haven't labeled it yet, but it's a new one that I got. And I did chop it. And it has a new growth point coming out. I also see my green hardy philodendron that I propagated by nose. And it's starting to trail. So a lot, a lot of cool stuff. I'm pretty sure a lot of guys' collections are also exploding in growth right now. It is spring. So I think plants grow year-round. They're in grow life and stuff like that. But they get even more louder when they feel I, th I think I think I don't know I, I, I don't know but <sighs> those are the updates I'm gonna stop rambling and then when y'all see me next time it's going to be the propagations a little bit more rambling maybe I'll wait until the end of the video and then we're gonna go ahead and water some this because there's a lot that needs some watering I already watered some plants that needed some watering but there's still a couple that need water and some fertilizer.
Okie dokie, it is the next day. So I, <laughs> I, okay, I'm a little bit like positive right now because I just got another order <laughs> from the t-shirts and Miss Girly ended up ordering an Addy Sonia and Manjula, which is honestly my favorite. And I'm just really, really blessed and grateful when you guys support me. So I already ordered some stuff that I needed to fulfill that order. and. I'm just really, really blessed and grateful as well. I just finished talking to my mom and I got some iced coffee, which y'all know <laughs> makes me in a really, really good mood. I love my caffeine, but we're gonna go ahead and repot my variegated or sports variegated cast iron plant that we got from Lowe's. I'm gonna, it's, it's this one. I got it for $12.98 and it's a cast iron plant. This, honestly, this plant my grandma had the green version in her yard i would always see them that was really really cool so it's really really cool that i have one now but yeah and i was doing research i found out this one's basically like a snake plant they don't want to stay moist they honestly prefer to dry out more than anything they can tolerate low light conditions um by the way she had it in her yard like outside where we get like one or two hours of morning light and then shade it throughout the entire day so now I have it as a house plant. And fun fact, the cast iron plant was an actual pretty popular house plant back in the day. It was a very trendy plant, just like how we see Thai constellations, monsteras, or um, like, you know, trendy plants. That's exactly what people saw this plant as until they started making it into like a clown kind of plant, which is kind of sad. So I'm going to start, I uh, almost bit my tongue. I'm going to like start putting my attention on this one, even though I'm a little bit scared because like, I don't know, it seems like a really, really easy houseplant and I haven't had any problems with it at all since I got it, but it hasn't really been pushing out any new leaves. I'm not, well, yeah, so it's a pretty slow growing plant, but I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade it to this terracotta. You can kind of see the jump, but the reason why is because I'm not going to be watering this plant, like maybe like once a month, like I water my Drancina. Um, I've gone some, <laughs> months without watering it and it's still doing really really good i water it when it feels like the soil is dry it depends on a lot of factors how long or like what it takes for the plant to dry out so that's why i don't really give like a lot of advice on like how to take care of plants or how to water them because the reality is it just depends on depends on your environment but what i could say is what i noticed that the plants like in my opinion or you know that that's just the best way i can do it and yeah i'm gonna be treating this plant as a very drought resistant plant so good thing is also in terracotta so when i do water it will dry out pretty fast i don't have any other planters other than just plastic and they're only the the big ones that i got from dollar tree and i don't like it because it's plastic um i don't have that many as well so i need to start stocking up on some planters before they stop selling them for a pretty affordable price a family dollar and dollar tree also the 99 cent store sells planters and terracotta pots which i really want to buy supposedly going out of business so you know supposedly supposedly going out of business so i really need to go ahead and buy some before there will be no more cheap terracottas. I can get terracottas at Lowe's, but they're kind of expensive. Maybe in the flea market, but... 
I've been trying. I lost like the top because it came with the top. I got the um, iced coffee machine from Walmart and it's really, really cool. I like it a lot. And uh, you can, I just, I used to use my regular machine, but I have an iced coffee machine and it's nice. It's, it makes life a little bit easier. So I lost the top and the thing is fungus nuts get on it, which is so annoying. It's so nasty. So I try to drink it as fast as I can before I see a fungus nut laying there. And I'm not gonna lie, like I'll just take it out and also drink it, <laughs> depending how far I've gotten or if, you know, if I really want it that bad. So yeah, I try to raise it. I'm using a hot Cheeto. <laughs> bucket so I can like pick up the plants for a little bit get on my knees and we're gonna go ahead and uh, pot up this plant but I'm making a nice I'm using this to capture any excess soil on the bottom this shouldn't be that difficult and what I might go ahead and do as well is I might take it off from this nursery planter once I can add in a cup of soil in there Yeah, that's good. Just to make your potting a little bit easier. Okay, so that's how much I've added inside. I'm gonna go ahead and take it out from its original. The blue little balls that it has in it is basically fertilizer. Ah! I don't wanna make a mess. Y'all see that root ball? It's really, really good. Okay. I'm gonna dunk this planter. And the other plants here, so it can stay right there. Okay, that was pretty good. I'm just gotta balance it or even it out because it's a little bit tilted, but that's perfect. I think it's gonna look really, really cute in the terracotta, and I'm pretty sure it's gonna stay happy. Do I have any other little container that I can use? No, I'm just gonna have to use mine. I don't have any small cup or something like that. Actually, I see this. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead ah, and use my uh, Sinanti. Wow, look at that. It's planter to transfer soil in here. Just trying to like move soil too much. Um, yeah, I'm gonna start next week on Amazon. I'm kind of excited. I'm gonna start with my, with my um, cousin. I'll be telling my family and they'll be laughing at me because like this is my third time applying. <laughs> Uh, so I'm like, I get it, like, it looks so dumb and stuff like that, but it is what it is. And if you know, you know, like, a lot of Amazonians, that's what they call themselves, what the company calls the employees, um, or the pistol in the warehouse, that's what they would call us, Amazonians. A lot of them, like, come back a lot of the time because it's really, it's really easy to apply. It's hard to get a slot or an opening because they go so fast. But once you do get an opening... All you gotta do is just pass the background check and the drug test, and that's basically it, and you're in. They, yeah, I already ordered my third set of shoes, because I think I, I've applied this, like I said, my third time. And when I, basically what happened for me, like I planned, I didn't got fired. I just like went negative on my UPT, which is unpaid time. And that's the number one way to get fired on Amazon, going negative on UPT. Because you have UPT, vacation, and PTO. PTO means paid term off. And then you have UPT, which is unpaid time. And then you also stack up vacation. So you have three different forms, but to use like time-wise. Honestly, that's done. And yeah, uh, I went negative and I couldn't reapply until 90 days, basically three months. And it's already been 90 days. And I was like for two weeks looking in the website, excuse me, on the website to get an opening because I was trying to get the same time and days as my boyfriend because we only have one car and it was it would be smart to go together so after two weeks I finally got an uh well it was actually gonna be a night shift they're gonna pay eighteen fifty, and I got one for me one for my cousin because my cousin was struggling he told me if I can get it for him and I was like I got you so we did that and then I got happy I was like oh my god let's celebrate so we went to get Taco Bell because like I love, 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 love Taco Bell. And uh, I, I, I was in the, in the drive-thru and something told me to check my phone and check the website. So I checked and then boom, I saw an opening the same days and same hours as my boyfriend. I was like, oh my God, titos. So I uh, I was on my cousin's account because I remember how I told you how I would try to get him as well. 
I logged out from his account. I logged into my account. I got the opening and then I was like, should I like cancel his application? Cause you got to cancel application before you can apply to a new one. And he was like, I don't know. And I was like, what if, what if I cancel? And like, I check and it's already gone. Cause they go by seconds, you guys, the openings. And I was like, well, let me just go really fast. And the thing is my cousin didn't have an account. He doesn't know his email and he doesn't, he just got a new phone number. So he didn't know that too. So I had to use, I had his phone number saved, but I, I used one of my emails and passwords. Um, I gave him the, the account information so he can change it for himself. But um, I was struggling to get into his account because <clears throat> there's double authentication. And <clears throat> as I log into his account, which I was already struggling, we were on the drive through y'all. I was getting what we want to talk about. <clears throat> I, I called him and I was like, uh, I was like, hey, like, you got a code. What is it? And he knows me. Like, he knows, like, when I call, it's because, like, I stand on business. Like, there's something. Like, if I ask you a question, just do it, girl. Because, like, I mean, I may go some molestar. I like to catch up every now and then, but, like, you know, like that. Like, you know. So <clears throat> he, he gave me the code and then I logged in and then the opening was still there. So I, it was going so fast i was shaking so much and i got it for him and i was like wow if we didn't want to talk about because i was kind of tired i was gonna go take a shower and go to sleep but we were like let's get talk about and watch a movie and i was like i'm down for talk about and like i'm cool for like a movie too and I'm, it, everything happens for a reason so i'm really really excited and him and i are gonna start on the same day you guys which is really really crazy so i'm kind of hyped and we're gonna start next week on wednesday and i'm just really really curious what they're gonna give us i used to do packing and stowing um packing and stowing this will be my third time so i don't know what i'm gonna do i compare from packing to stowing i like stowing which is basically like the robots come to you and you um scan the item like from companies that sent to amazon and put it in the storage like in the robots towers that's what stowing is basically uh i kind of liked it but then because it was very like i'm a, a very antisocial, so like i don't like to socialize with anybody <laughs> unless i have to but i'm very like in my own circle like i just like to keep to myself and do my own thing like clock in and clock out and that's basically it so i liked it about that but then the second time i applied was i they put me in packing and i loved packing packing is basically like there is this conveyor belt and you're like, we look like ants, girl. <laughs> uh, the, 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 the conveyor belt will give us totes and the totes have um, products that customers have ordered and you scan it and then it will tell you like what kind of box you use and you use dungeon, which is the balloon. And you, you basically do the orders. Like you basically ship out, like um, put the items to the boxes and get them ready to ship out. So I loved packing. Uh, I used, I was doing singles. And then like the two weeks before I quit, <laughs> they trained us, which was crazy. We got trained to do um, multis within like minutes, basically the same thing. It's just more items that you put in a box. But yeah, it was really, really cool. I like packing because like I would like zone out because it, you just, it becomes into muscle memory. Uh, basically, I think there's like boxes here and boxes in the bottom. I think there's like 10, 12 options of boxes maybe more um and then the dungeon which is the, the the bubble wrap the feeling that you put in the boxes so the product doesn't move too much the spool which is the barcode and then the amazon tape which i forgot what they call it but that's basically like those are all the stuff you do and like you run out of stuff so you, you know you gotta go get it yourself if, if the water spiders are too busy water spiders are basically the ones that like go by and like restock your station or like whatever you need like they will fill it up for you um and yeah I, it became into muscle memory after like two months and i was just like zoning out basically daydreaming and i liked it because like i would think i was basically meditating <laughs> i was very loud at the fulfillment center but like you know you get over it and um time went by so fast that's where i liked it that i was zoned out <laughs> because like, i was getting paid pretty good i was getting paid 17 dollars an hour and um the time went by so fast we have two breaks which is 30 minutes and the benefits are pretty good um compared from other jobs that i've been through so i'm really really excited i that's why i'm only posting like every fourth day of the week i really want to do it every other day but i know realistically i just can't so i'd rather do like this kind of vlogs kind of videos like or plant shopping videos which is like 30 to like an hour long and post every like fourth day of the week or like every third day um 
it will be nice to do it every other day but i just can't and then also i don't have that much to film when i was posting daily girl like i was running out of ideas to do it was really really fun because it was like we were like it was like you know when you call your friend every single day that's kind of how i felt with y'all and i liked it a lot but i can't <laughs> and um it makes me happy when y'all support me as well with the t-shirts so um that's also another blessing and I'm just really excited. I'm also gonna go with my boyfriend too to work and it's I can relate with him more than anything. Cause when we used to work together, we related so hard. Like we were already talking about so much about Amazon, like how our day was. And we would just rant to each other and eat, shower, sleep, and repeat. And I liked that. I didn't know how much I loved the structure. The reason why I quit, and I already told you, like I gave you guys the story some if you didn't know, but <sighs> I, I basically it was peak. And a lot of people do quit on peak. And I was like, that's not going to happen to me. And silly me, I picked up a lot of VT. VT means um, voluntary extra time. You get paid. Um, so it's 1.5, basically what you get paid. So it's pretty good. And they only let you do 20 hours of overtime. So you can only do 60 hours on Amazon a week. They don't let you go over. They're pretty strict with that. But yeah, it was great, but I was so exhausted. I was so burned out because like it's basically 10 hour shifts. I wake up at five in the morning and I'm not saying how it bad. Like I said, I like this. Um, I felt very productive. That's what I liked about it. I felt like I deserved to relax and I deserved to have one day a week and rot in my bed and just like do nothing but just relax. I love that feeling and I miss that feeling. Um, but yeah, I would wake up at 5 in the morning, have my coffee, and then do what I gotta do. And then we would dip out at 6.50 in the morning. Because it's pretty far. So we, um, we we had to clock in at 7.30. So we, we would dip out at 6.50. Now he's dipping out at 6.40 because traffic is getting a little bit worse. Um, there's more construction on that side. Because it's across where we live, like San Antonio. And then um, we clock out at 6 p.m. Sorry, we, I wake up at 5 a.m. We're going to leave at 6.50 a.m. But we clock out at 6 p.m. And um, it's like basically an hour, like 40, 50 minutes. Uh, well, 40 minutes, sometimes 50, of traffic. It's so bad. But I know we don't have it that bad because there's people on Amazon and I'm pretty sure there's people out there too. But from what I've heard and seen, there's people in Amazon that like drive an hour. Um, like more like they live far like I think some people live in San Marcos or something like that like it was kind of crazy so like I can't complain <laughs> but yeah like we will, uh, we will come back we'll be home like at 7 p.m. and um, as when we would eat shower repeat like that's all we had so when we do leave from this apartment which I'm still enjoying every single day living here it's a blessing I love this apartment so much um, I want to live a little bit closer over there because uh, it's just going to help a lot with, you know, not beating with traffic. And there is some options that is like literally like a four minute drive from Amazon, which is going to be a huge game changer um, with our life. But that's on the line. We have like six months to get ready because um, moving out, it's pretty expensive. If you all know, like everything's expensive right now, but moving out, it's like it got really, really expensive. Um, yeah <laughs> it's just it's, it's so last year we, we wanted to move so bad our release ends on december by the way we wanted to move out so bad and we were ready but we just we found out that if we were under budget like we didn't have enough to move out um and it sucked but then i was like you know what we can just renew the lease again we don't gotta stress about moving out the money that we saved we can spend it i know right? <laughs> so bad but and we were like, it's a blessing, and it was so easy to renew. Um, we just signed papers, and then we didn't have to stress about it at all. And we just, we had a good place still. We, I don't think we're ever going to find another, like, three-bedroom, two-bathroom for how much we're paying. Because, like, that's what we have. Um, and we look how much it is out there. Girl, for a one-bedroom, one-bathroom, from what I've seen, it's, like, the same amount that we're paying right now. So, it's pretty crazy. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but... I'm excited to go back. I really, really am. I, I want to feel productive. I want to feel like I'm doing something with my life. I mean, I am, but I just miss working. And I just gotta like tell myself when that happens, which if you know, you know from that story time, to not like make myself like walk out because like it's a warehouse. I'm gonna like sweat. 
like you know magnets smell like Febreze and I'm very insecure especially how I smell because of my childhood don't even ask and uh, <laughs> it, yeah so yeah that's why I had a big bath and butter addiction um especially with the cells but I'm starting to get like some rashes I don't know if my skin has developed or got irritated by the products so like I have to like not kind of use them too much like, I just switched to Dove but that's so much information yeah so I'm really excited to go back I'm happy that we did a lot of plant chores we didn't do that much as what I wanted to do as in like I want to show you guys to collect this and stuff like that but it's okay um, I'm honestly obsessed how it looks with this cast iron plant and the terracotta it still has the sticker but I love the way it looks it looks more like it's just it belongs together and I'm kind of happy how I, I give like an inch of space at the very top and I will um, top water this in the tub to saturate the soil a little bit and settle everything down and then I'll place it I actually have this in a high light spot um, because I do want it to keep growing a little bit faster um, just like they say like just because it's a low light plant or it can tolerate low light conditions it does not mean um, that you know it belongs in a low light spot it, it, a, lot, <laughs> a lot of plants will do better uh, with the grow lights or a very bright and direct window they will grow a lot faster and i don't know about you but i like my plants when they grow pretty fast and just look nice and full so yes also this is my sanansi i was freaking out and then a lot of you guys told me that it's prone to have because i saw like these little dots in the back of the leaves and it looks like spider mites but god told me that it's minerals that this plant supposedly exposed minerals on the back of its leaves I still have it under quarantine and I really want to maybe with that when I when I start working I will have like more income and I can like you know get the things that I want but as in I really want to get a microscope like they saw these like digital is it called a microscope that you can like look into a plant leaf and you can um see a very zoomed in on your phone very modern y'all we're like in the modern ages now and I would love to like give myself peace of mind to know that there's no keep um because spider mites are really small I honestly I'm kind of blind I cannot see spider mites they just look like dust to me um very very fine particles of dust so with the microscope you can actually see them like eh! you can actually see them crawling um that's gonna help a lot but that'll be down the line hopefully We'll work on that. Also, like you also get a discount on Amazon too. <laughs> when you work with them, you get a discount. It's not too much. I think it's only 10% and there is a cap. Um, I don't know. I don't know if it's 10%. I think it's more. But there is a cap. You can, there's only $100 cap a year. But y'all, I was like, <clears throat> I was using it. <laughs> like when I was there for those three months, ooh, I almost like mm, finished all of it. I, that's how I got these planters. They came with the, like a six set. I don't know if you guys remember. I got it from Amazon. And I, I got like a $40 discount. $40 is something girl. Like that's a gallon of gas in my car. So I love that. <laughs> Take advantage of everything that's being given to you, right? So mm. I hope I didn't ramble too much and give you guys an ick or something like that. But I really do miss doing daily content, but I just don't know what to film. <laughs> like I just damn. And then I know like I just I won't I won't I just don't have a mental energy because I'm lazy to edit videos all the time um, because like I don't know I feel like it, even though when I do edit my videos if I cut some parts out it doesn't make any sense what I'm talking about like it just has to be like wrong <laughs> but thank you so much for watching sending positive advice to each and every single one of you guys thank you so much for joining me on doing plenty chores I really really do appreciate it and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you in the next one we might go plant shopping when i see y'all next time which will be like in three days we might go plant shopping so yeah <laughs>